Hello and welcome to the movement portion of your practice today. My name is Leanne Smith and I am the owner of Vibrant Life Source and I am a yoga instructor and I'm so excited to be here and offer you some gentle movement to support your body and today I really want us to focus on being present in our body and also really being aware of the movements that we can do versus what we can't do. So celebrating what our bodies are able to let us do today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a practice using a chair. So um, if you're not, go ahead and find a chair that's comfortable and that has a sturdy back. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with our hips all the way in the back of our chair with our back against the back of our chair. Hands are gonna find your way into a comfortable position. Maybe they're in the lap, maybe they're at the side of the body. Find something that works well for you. And we're just gonna start our practice today with just some very easy, breathing techniques, and a very simple guided meditation. So when you're ready, why don't you join me and we're just gonna find a spot to gaze upon. Maybe it's something on the floor or against the wall. Eyes are still open, but start to take some deep breaths. And we'll take a deep inhale. And as we exhale, let's close eyes. And I invite you to find some movement, maybe taking some gentle shoulder rolls or rolling the head. But be present and aware of how your body feels with the movement. And after you've had a few breaths of movement, you can either continue or you can just bring attention to your breath. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest with each breath. With each round of breath, trying to expand the breath, taking a deeper inhale and a lengthened, longer exhale. Just take a moment and be present in your body. Give gratitude for this time today. Gratitude for this body, this vessel that takes us through our day. And let's breathe in some grace, grace for our body. Maybe a deep breath of compassion for whatever body came to today. Whatever we may have going on today, we'll breathe in some compassion. And let's take one more big, spacious, cleansing breath. And as we're ready, we're going to open eyes. And hands are gonna be on your legs and we're gonna to start to peel our back away from the back of the chair. Belly draws in, so just draw your belly in towards your spine and that's gonna help stabilize your back and just your core. And we're just gonna to start to move in a circle. Very simple. Make sure you're continuing to breathe as you move. Your circle can be small, 
It can be big, it can be slow, or it can be quicker. But I want you to really focus on being present in your body and listening, adjusting. If going fast or making a bigger circle, it doesn't feel good, slow it down, make it smaller. Now let's change the direction of your circle. So just go in the other direction. And same thing, be aware, be present in your body. Try to connect the breath with the movement of body. Yeah. Good. So let's come back to center. We're going to let that go. And we're just going to let the arms hang. We're sitting up tall. And we're going to do alternating shoulder rolls. So we're inhaling up, we're exhaling as we roll back. Good. Taking your time. There's no rush here. And then we're going to change the direction of our shoulder circles. So now we're going to go back and forward. Inhale the up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Excellent. Let's go one more time each side. Good. And again, we're going to come back. Belly draws in to support us. And we're going to take a big inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Good, two more times. Big inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale down. One last time, big inhale, sweep it up. Exhale down. Good. Now we're going to do a movement kind of like climbing a rope. So we're going to reach up. Pull down, reach up, and pull down. Again, keeping belly tight. And what we're doing here is we're stretching out side body through the rib cage. Good, let's go two more times each side. Be gentle with your body, maybe reaching up high. Does it feel good? Then you don't go up as high, right? Last time each side. Good. And let's bring hands back to the lap and just take a moment, feel, right. And let's go ahead and start to walk our hips forward. So we're gonna to come towards the edge of our chair. Make sure our feet are right underneath us. And we're gonna flow through what's called seated cat-cow. So the focus is on your, uh, your midline, your torso. So that's where we want to bring our attention to. So hands are on the knees, and as you exhale, you're going to round your back, tuck your tailbone under, chin drops to chest. Good. Inhale, reach your head up, reach your chest forward, opening up, shoulders roll back. Good. Let's exhale, round that spine, drop your chin to chest. Inhale, open up. Good. Don't overthink it. We're just moving the body, getting the blood flowing through the body. And don't forget to breathe. A couple more times. Inhale, open up, expand the chest. Good. Exhale, rounding. Last time, we're going to inhale, open up. Oh, good. So let's start to warm up the legs. So all we're going to do is we're going to do a heel tap. Heel tap. Good. Simple movement. But what we're again, we're trying to do is just get the blood flow, get the blood moving through the legs, through the body, warming ourselves up. Let's go two more times each side. And then we're going to take it to a stretch. Go a little deeper. Good. So now we're going to bring this right leg forward. We're on the heel, toe up. Slight bend in the knee, okay? So we're going to be stretching a hamstring. So what I want you to do is keep your chest nice and tall, your back as flat as you can, shoulders back, okay? 
and then reach your chest towards your toes. Yeah. Feel that stretch behind the leg in the hamstring. It's a gentle movement. It's a gentle stretch. So you're not going to feel this crazy deep stretch, or you might. If you're feeling it really intense, come up a little bit. Good. And let's go ahead and come up. We're going to switch sides. So that left heel goes forward, left toes up. Slight bend in the knee. Nice. Tall torso, shoulders roll back. And we're going to reach our chest towards your left toes. And breathe. Big inhale. Good. Couple more breaths. Last one. Uh, and let's go ahead and come on up. All right, so let's set up for a twist. So what you're going to do, I'm going to give you two options, and you decide what works best for your body today. You're either going to keep your legs together, your knees together, okay? If you wish to go deeper and take a deeper stretch and it feels good to your body, you cross your right leg over your left, okay? Choose which version works best for you, legs together or legs crossed. Okay? And then either way, you're going to bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Right hand comes back by your right hip and just rest it on the chair. Nice tall torso, belly tight, and we're going to gently twist to the right. And what I want you to focus on is keeping your neck and spine aligned. Okay? Shoulders back, and yes, Deep breath. Good. Couple more breaths. Let you make sure you're getting that full exhale. Good. Let's inhale. Come back to center. We're going to switch sides. So I cross legs on that side. So I'm going to do it the other way on this side. So you're either legs together or legs crossed. Right hand to the outside of that left thigh, left hand back by that left hip. Nice tall torso, and as we exhale, we twist. Spine and chest, spine and neck are all aligned. Shoulders relaxed, breath is spacious. Good. Give me a couple more big breaths. Good, let's come back to center. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and come up to standing. And what I'm gonna do is you're gonna come behind your chair. I'm gonna turn my chair so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do down dog using the chair. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands on the back of the chair. You're gonna step your feet back, about hips distance apart, and reach your hips back. So what I want you to do is have your weight in the heels of your feet, not in your toes. Slight bend in the knees, tuck your tailbone up, and relax your shoulders down your back. Good. So let's come up and back. Good. Let's follow a breath. Let's inhale up. Exhale back. One more time. Big inhale. Let's inhale up. Exhale back. Good. Use your belly and let's walk feet forward. Good. So we're going to add on to that. I'm going to have my right foot forward, left foot back, and a lunge. It's called a high lunge. Hands are on the back of the chair and we're again, we're rooted through the heels of the feet. You're going to feel a stretch in your calves. And you know, I have my feet about two to three feet apart. And then watch what's going to happen. This back heel, I'm going to inhale, lift that heel up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. Inhale up, exhale down. So you can keep the hands on the chair or you can bring the arms. Good. 
Choose what works for you. If keeping hands on the chair, you feel, you feel more balanced and secure, stay there. Maybe you're just gonna do one arm, right? Maybe two. Let's go two more times here. Good, last time. Set that back heel down and we're gonna turn to the left feet are at least a little wider than hips and we're just flowing. We're just flowing side to side, bending one knee than the other. Again, if you feel more secure keeping a hand on the chair, you can do that. But I just want you to just flow, just move. Be in your body and flow. Good. And again, we're gonna turn back towards the back of the chair and step together. Good. I'm gonna turn my chair around so I can still be focused on you. Good. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna step that left foot forward, right foot back, that high lunge, root through the heels of the feet. And then here we go. We're just gonna do the heel inhale up, exhale down. Good, lift that heel up, exhale down. Good, a couple more times. Good, and then if you're bringing the arms into it again, you can. And remember, you can always keep one hand on the chair or both hands on the chair. Or you can get really wild and crazy and do both hands off the chair. Let's go two more times. Good, let's root through that heel and we're gonna turn and open it up, feet about hips distance apart and start our flow side to side. What does this look like? Play with it. Have a sense of play. Have a sense of curiosity. Maybe we're just doing this. Maybe a little shoulder roll, right? Maybe your movement's bigger. Maybe your movement's just really low, really simple, right? Let's go two more times each side. Last time each side. Good. So now what I want you to do, you're standing behind your chair. I'm gonna move my chair. And we're gonna come in and do what's called Tadasana, mountain pose. And you can keep your hands on the back of that chair if that feels comfortable to you. But I just want your feet to be about hips distance apart. You can either find a spot to focus on or you're welcome to close eyes. But I just want you to be, bring your awareness and bring your focus to the soles of your feet and just notice how you're holding yourself. Are you rocking forward or back or side? There's a softness in your knees. They're not fully locked out. They're not fully bent, but they're soft. Belly is slightly engaged, slightly drawn in, and shoulders are drawn back and down. Palms of the hands face forward. And let's take three big spacious breaths. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through an open mouth. Two more times, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, and one more at your own pace. Good. And let's come back and have a seat in our chair. Sitting up tall, and we're gonna stretch out this right shoulder. We're going to bring this arm across body. Use that left arm to gently draw it in. Relax the shoulder and we're going to feel a stretch through the shoulder and a little bit down into the shoulder blade. And as always, breathe. Good. Open it up. Other side. Gently draw this arm in. Relax the shoulder. And 
Let's let that go. We're gonna bring the hands back to the knees. Walk your hips back in your chair so your back rests comfortably in the back of the chair. Hands in the lap. And let's just take a pause. Let's close eyes again as we wind down our practice. Bring your attention back to present time. Just take a pause and notice. Notice how your body feels. And bring hands together at heart center. And join me for a breath of gratitude for this time together today. I hope you got some movement that supports your body and helps your body feel more awakened and more alive. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. And you're welcome to open eyes. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been my pleasure to offer this practice to you. I hope you have an amazing day. Goodbye.